Now let's uh, talk about some variations on that. Okay, so if I uh, went ahead to a different way of creating this view, and let's say we had an already open drawing here. Okay, so I'm starting this time from a drawing, not necessarily from the model itself. In the drawing, I have the option to basically, uh, you know, create a lot of different types of views, if you will. So, for instance, if I want to create those same three views, three projected views, I come in here to my toolbar. I have the View Layout toolbar, which has a lot of the options there for views, as you can see where my cursor is right now, three standard views, model view, relative view, per, you know, predefined, and so on. We'll, we'll take a look at a lot of these functions here. Uh, so from the drawing, I can actually say, well, you know what, I just want very quick three standard views. So I click the button, notice the icon, the cursor feedback, again, we all know in uh, SOLIDWORKS, cursor feedback always is telling us something. It's actually carrying the icon of the model, prompting you to select a model. Okay. Now, if you don't have anything open, you would have to browse to a model. But since we have a file open in the background, and notice if I tile my environment horizontally, you see this is the file that is opened right now. So because that is opened in my environment, it immediately references it here in the list. All I have to do if I want to create three standard views of this guy here, I just come in here, double click, and I have an automatic three views created very quickly. From there, I decide to edit the views in any fashion I want. Like, for instance, uh, I want to create maybe an isometric view. I have an option here to project. Notice the button there. Project an isometric view from there, and there's my isometric view.